In about 13 hours, 17 minutes, and 35, 34, 33, you get the idea. Seconds, the first all-civilian crew set to blast off from Kennedy Space Center. Launch window opens at 8.02 tonight. Pretty exciting. So getting to that moment was a long time coming. The inspiration for crew trained for seven months. And a Netflix documentary shows the struggles they had to overcome. You have to be well trained to fly a SpaceX spacecraft. NASA astronauts know that going to space means training in a centrifuge, a spinning machine that simulates G-forces on the body, and fighter jet training that does the same thing. Okay, uh, Jared, confirming location of that door release handle. You lower right. Sit back there, got it, good. But the new Netflix documentary on the mission shows this was a moment of truth for the all-civilian Inspiration4 crew. Haley's doing great. Oh, she's doing great. She's just rock solid in there. She is. Or at least the three of them who are not a billionaire and don't own their own fighter jets. Jarek Isaacman, who bought the rocket ride to space from SpaceX as a fundraiser for St. Jude's Hospital, did fine. He's used to this. Have you ever done anything like this? Not this, not, not, not really. But Chris Sombrowski, the data engineer from Washington State, lost his lunch. They had flight psychiatrists there that were evaluating us on the screens while it, it was taking place and then afterwards during an interview. This has implications as us as four, you know, human beings going into spacecraft, right? This has implications to SpaceX. What if this goes wrong? The three also struggled climbing snowy Mount Rainier. It was meant to be a high pressure team building exercise. They hiked for nine hours up to 10,000 feet. And at the end, Sombrowski said in the documentary he was about to break down. And Dr. Cyan Proctor, who was the mission pilot, said it was the hardest hike of her life. Haley Arsenault, the medical officer and a childhood cancer survivor, said the entire time she was worried about the prosthetic rod in her leg breaking. It has broken twice before. She says she learned from that hike never to limit herself.